From the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville, Tennessee, the country music capital of the world, it's your grand old Opry starring Berlin Husky. <laughs> If you be my baby and let me stay with you, I'll be your daddy and your mama too. I'll love and kiss you, listen at you coo. If you be my baby, I'll babysit with you. Oh, be my baby, be my baby. I don't mean maybe. I don't mean maybe. I'll buy you candy, buy you candy, and pretties too. Everything I get you, things I get you, I'll love and pet you. And if you be my baby, I'll babysit with you. Thank you, folks. Thank you a whole lot. And a great big hello to all my friends and neighbors of the Grand Ole Opry. Tonight's all-star lineup of Opry favorites, Rod Brassfield, Minnie Pearl, Chet Atkins, Del Wood, and the entire Opry gang. Yes, and we got more company coming, too, because some real good singing friends of yours is dropping in on us later, Grant. I'm talking about Shirley and I are the Leuven Brothers. But before we get cranked up on another song here, we got to make way for an old boy who's as much a part of our Saturday nights as dressing up and having a date with your best girlfriend. He's a man in charge of all Hohenwall hokum, the tailor of tall tales, Rodney Brassfield. <laughs> Howdy, Perlin Husky. Howdy, Rod. It's good to see you. you. Good to Where see you. <laughs> Boy, you you know something, Perlin? You ought to have been down in Hornwall last night with us. Down in Hornwall? Yeah, we had a party that wouldn't quit, boy. Is that right? Yeah, it's one of my sort of a uh, pre-Christmas party, I guess. You're getting ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's starting early, you know. Yeah. You know, something funny happened, Perlin. All the girls that went to the party, they had to go dressed according to the color of their boyfriend's hair. Is that right? Yeah, you know, if they're a red-headed fella, well, she has to wear a red dress. Black-headed, yeah, black dress. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Is that right? Boy, I sure did feel sorry for old Lizzie Wharton, No kidding, what happened? Her boyfriend was bald-headed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rod, Rod, they tell me... They <laughs> Rodney, they tell me that uh, your gal Susie's been yeah. kissed by a lot of fellas. Yeah, yeah, Susie's been kissed... Been kissed That's by a lot of fellers. That's what well, I now, by Ned Perlin, that ain't so. It ain't no, so. that there's a misprint or something. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, by Ned, that ain't so. I know by Ned. Susie ain't never been kissed except by force. By force. Yeah, you know, Air Force and then Police yeah. Force. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Perlin. Yeah. Speaking of forces, you didn't know it, buddy, but I was in the Air Force during the World War Number Two. Is that a fact? You yeah. in the service? Yeah, I, I didn't know. You didn't know it? Didn't know it. Didn't My slitter boy, I was a hero. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of hero? I got shot in the chest. I got wounded. No I got kidding. shot in the chest while I was advancing there, boy. Yeah. Sit down and tell me all about it, Rob. Sit down and tell you about it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I can't sit down and tell you about it, Furlan. See, I got shot also. I got wounded while retreating, too. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, Rod. <right>. Uh. <laughs> Rod, you have mentioned Hohenwald a while ago. Yeah, yeah. Hohenwald. I went through there the other day. You did? Yeah. I, well, why in the cat hair didn't you stop? I didn't know where you lived. Where about you live down there? Didn't know where I live. Didn't know where Live right out there at the edge of town. You, 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 out out there on 8th and Plum. 8th and Plum. Yeah, 8 miles out in the country and Plum back in the woods. <laughs> you, you, you couldn't miss it if you went that way, you know? Yeah. See, speaking of where you live, where do you live up here in Nashville? I wanted to come see you the other day, and I didn't I wondered why you hadn't been over. Where do I, you live at? I live on Petticoat Lane, Rod. Yeah. Petticoat Lane? Petticoat Lane. <laughs> yeah. Petticoat 
Lane. Betty Coat Lane. But where's that at? That's just inside the outskirts. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Rod, you don't look so good tonight. What's the matter with you? My name, I don't feel good neither, Furley, and I've got a toothache. Is that yeah, a, it's a, bad? It's just a worrying me to death. Worry I thought maybe you worry. might be able to tell me something I could do for it. Like cloves or something? Well, I, I don't know what uh, you do. I know what I do when I get one. What do you do, Furley? I go see my girl. She's got a <laughs> remedy that just fixes it up. Oh. Sure enough. Oh, she gives me a little smooching. Yeah. Loves me, caresses me, kisses me. Yeah, go ahead. Me. Tell me more about it. Man, you ought to try it sometime. <laughs> yeah, I believe I will. <laughs> Reckon she's home now? Oh, you. <laughs> Well, it's almost December, Ferlin. You got enough warm clothes to keep you comfortable this winter? Why, Grant, I got plenty of duds to keep me warm and to keep me comfortable. I dog is I've always got my pipe and a tin of Prince Albert smoking tobacco. Now, fellas, there just isn't any better smoking than a pipe full of mild, tasty PA. Taste tested and approved by more smokers than any other smoking tobacco. Nature, in her own sure way, put the flavor in PA. And Prince Albert's own special process holds and heightens that mellow, ripe, natural taste, locks it in, and keeps it there for you, pipe full after pipe full. Yes, and P.A.'s crimp cut, too, Grant. So it packs meat and firm in the feller's pipe and smokes cool and longer burning. You said it, Ferlin, and that's another reason why Prince Albert is America's largest selling smoking tobacco. So pack your next pipe or making cigarette with Prince Albert and find out why they call it the National Joy Smoke. When folks get to talking about football, you sometimes hear them mention a feller who's a triple threat on the field. Well, sir, we got our own triple threats on the opera tonight. We got two fellers who play real good, sing extra fine, and write some of the best songs that you've ever heard in your life. Let's welcome the Leuven Brothers! <laughs> I, since you're the spokesman of the of the team, how about you tell me what's been going on here lately? Bring you up to date. Bring me up well, to date. Well, we've been picking and singing to some wonderful people all over the United States. Carolinas, Arkansas, Mississippi, East and West Virginia, and everywhere. Yeah. And we're mighty happy to be here on the wonderful Grand Ole Opera tonight. Well, I'm glad you're here, and I wonder if you've had anything happening exciting. Oh, we sure have. I, I'm glad you mentioned that. We recorded a brand new song for the Capitol Record people a while back. And it's going to be released Monday, and it's entitled, I Don't Believe You've Met My Baby. I guess if I get out of your way, you'll do it first. Be happy to. Oh, I appreciate it. Last night, my dear, the rain was falling. I'm Underneath the harvest moon I was thinking about you And then you met me in the moonlight The stars were shining in your eyes But another was that too hey. Fine, now, Lewin, brothers. 
You fellas just follow suit here, and it's time to grab the porter and get in on the grand old Opry Square dance. Go left, up, go left. All the way back to the right. The left is sent up to his side. Out couple off me, even look up four. So right in across, and how do you do? Left and back, and how are you? Swing on the corner, swing on the gate, swing your partner, don't be late. Swing your partner, on your door, to brand new cup and hook up four. Hey, bird, I let him in. Bird out in the old crow in. Swing that corner, chick and file, all the angels on the fly. Swing your partner, on your door, to brand new cup and hook up four. Fellas, on your corner. Ah, they want one lady, the general is here. Chase the rabbit, chase the squirrel, chase up to the gallery around the world. Swing your feet, go to head and feet. Bring your partner and promenade home. Not long ago, neighbors, we celebrated the 30th anniversary of the Grand Ole Opry, and that's a long time. And all that time, the opera stars have always made room in their programs for a sacred song. I'd like to do just that right now and do one of my favorites I have on record called Saith the Lord. Oh, love thy neighbor as thyself, covet not his home nor well. Oh, let us be. Let us be of one accord. Help them to build upon a rock. Be not a stumbling block. Oh, love thy neighbor, love thy neighbor. as thyself, thyself. saith the Lord. Whenever we practice what we preach, the heavenly gates, good neighbors will reach. Our master is waiting, patiently waiting. Our names to recall. Show him the glory they're bound to find when sinful ways are left behind. Oh, love thy neighbor as thyself, saith the Lord, saith the Lord. Thank you, folks. Thank you a whole lot. Well, here comes a friend of yours with something mighty important on his mind. Say, Forlan, let me ask you something. What's the most natural thing that pops into your head when I mention a making cigarette? Why, Prince Albert smoking tobacco, I'd say. Well, the word natural gave away the answer. Yes, sir. Prince Albert's got natural tobacco flavor. PA's own special process makes sure that this fine, natural flavor is held and heightened for you road your owners. And being crimp cut, Prince Albert doesn't blow around or dribble out the ends. Rolls just as smooth and easy as it smokes mild and tasty. Yeah, that, that, that makes me feel like rolling. I, I mean, singing about it, right? <laughs> well, first, let me remind the fellas to roll their necks making cigarette with Prince Albert, taste tested and approved by more smokers than any other smoking tobacco. Nature in her own sure way Put the flavor in PA Try Prince Albert, you'll agree It's tobacco As nature meant tobacco to be Well, it's time for some more music on the opera And that means it's time for Miss Dale Woods on the piano With the Smoky Mountain Poker
I hear tell a lot of you folks think I'm bashful. I, Granny's, I may be. I, but there's one thing for sure that I'm never shy on, and that's when I introduce my girl Saturday. She's in from Grinder's Switch tonight with all the gossip in town. Let's make her welcome, Cousin Minnie Pearl! <laughs> Wonderful, Minnie, did you? Yes, indeed, I sure did. Oh, I tell you right now, we had a big party that night. You know, we had a lot of people over there at the house, and we had Thief Jones and a... Thief, oh, was he there? Thief, no you kid. know, Furley, <laughs> Thief is the one that's got that lazy rooster. Yeah, He's right. got the laziest old rooster I ever seen. Yeah, that right. rooster's so lazy, he won't even crow. He won't? No, he just waits till the other roosters crow, and then he just stretches his neck and nods his head. <laughs> isn't that That's silly? Lazy. <laughs> That's lazy. Well, the Christmas is nearby here, isn't it, Pearlie? Won't be long now, Minnie. Won't I was doing my early Christmas shoplifting down here. Shoplifting. <laughs> and I seen a uh, sign in a corset shop. It said, yeah. 20 more shaping days for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have to worry about my shape, because there don't nobody look at it anyway. Oh, Minnie. No, they don't. Oh, Minnie. Not except by my they don't. I'll just fix and ask you. Haven't you lost some weight? What's that? Haven't you lost some weight? Uh, no. Have you? Did you find some? Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, you don't worry about your figure, no how. Men don't just uh, go for a woman because she's... Uh, I mean, they just don't... Uh, you know, the figure ain't everything. Ferlin, you've lost your mind. <laughs> yeah, well, now, no kidding. <laughs> what I else? Mean, well, take brains, for instance. You take brains. Huh? I don't want brains. You ain't never heard tell of a man whistling at brains, did you? <laughs> well, take the way she dresses. Oh, well, now, the way she dresses has a lot to do with it. Sure. Oh, Uncle Nabob and me were talking about that yesterday. Uncle Nabob said that these here dresses they've got this year are awful. These evening dresses, you know? Yeah. With the necklines going down and the hemlines coming up. <laughs> Woo! He says if the neckline's go any further south and the hemline's go any further north, there's going to have to be a new Mason-Dixon line. <laughs> 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 well, I'd love to see and talk to you, Berlin. Yeah, I wish you I've could, always Minnie. been awful fond of you. Yeah, I like you, too. And uh, <laughs> I'd like to say, but I'm on my way to Hollywood tonight. I'm going to be on a show there next Hollywood? Saturday night. Yeah. Is that I'm, right? Oh, I feel at home out there. I'll bet you is. Yeah, yeah, the last time I was there, a fella said I was a homeless girl he'd saw out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, but there was folks in my family years back was in the movies whenever yeah. they could get 65 cents to get in. Yeah. But that, that, there was one of my uncles was in the, that old picture called Birth of a Nation. I didn't know that. What part did he play, Minnie? He run for the doctor. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I'd love to stay here, but I, I was kidding you about that birth of nation, but I am going to go out there and make some shorts. Hey, that's good, Manny. How about sending me a pair, will you? Oh, shut <laughs> up. What? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that Minnie Pearl is sure something. And I think it's always something good when the Lubin brothers sing a, another song. How you folks feel about it? All right, what do we do this time? Carolyn, we'd like to send out a song, a sacred number entitled Just Rehearsing for the Singing of Home. We're just rehearsing, we're just rehearsing, and someday we'll sing together in a band around God's home. This old work cannot be born, this reward cannot be born. We are just, just, just rehearsing for that singing of home. This old world is nothing but a dressing place where we make preparations to spend that in this day until the curtains open and it's our time to sing we are just rehearsing songs of praise to the king we're just rehearsing we're just rehearsing and someday we'll sing together in a band around God's throne this old world cannot be this old world cannot be we are just, just, just rehearsing for that singing of home. When I sing of Jesus, of his saving grace, I feel his blessed presence, my soul he does embrace. Sometimes I get so happy, I forget my song, to know I've been invited to that singing of home. We're just rehearsing, we're 
Chester Atkins playing Avalon. Some folks ask us if we'd do our special favorite number. Well, that's pretty hard to do when you try to figure out what everybody would want to hear. But uh, I turned it over to my good buddy Simon Crum and had him to pick out the one he likes best for you. So we'll do this one. This one's called Walking and the Humming. Uh... If I open 
stand up and cry But I guess I'm one of those that just can't cry So I'll just walk and hum Wait for the day to come When I can lay down and die I don't feel like talking I just feel like walking And keep on humming uh, sure had a good time visiting with you tonight, and we hope that you enjoyed yourselves a whole lot. Next week, we'll come calling for you in the old buckboard, and at that time, the man in the driver's seat will be everybody's good buddy, Cowboy Cocos. And I hear tell, too, that Cocos is bringing along the fine country singer, a friend of yours, Jim Reeves. Till then, this is Furlan Husky, saying so long and thanks for everything. We'll be seeing you next Saturday night on the Grand Ole Opry. How can you measure the enjoyment you get from your cigarette? By the way the smoke feels and tastes. That's why so many smokers favor king-size Cavaliers. When you smoke a Cavalier, you can feel and taste the smoking enjoyment. Feel the smooth, light, easy-going quality of the smoke. Taste the rich, welcome flavor. Yes, that's the two-way smoking pleasure you get with every puff of king-size Cavalier. Today's the day to discover the fresh, new feeling of smoking wonderful Cavaliers. Today's the day to catch up with the thousands of smokers who found that Cavalier is the cigarette that gives you double smoking pleasure. Taste rich, welcome flavor, puff after puff. Feel smooth, smooth smoke, so light and easy going. That's the two-way smoking enjoyment you get with Cavalier. Get your carton of king-size Cavalier cigarettes today. This program was brought to you by WSM, affiliated with the National Broadcasting Company. This is Monitor.